Hello, um, today I'm going to talk about a six tuplet run. Uh, the last couple of runs we've been looking at were um, based on 16th note sequences 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a. And this time um, it's nice to have a triple note feel for a change. The whole run is based on a commonly known six tuplet, which um, goes like this. So that in that case it will be. Um, 19, 15, 17, 19, 17, 15. And that's basically um, the whole thing. Um, you, you may want to practice just that. You can use uh, fingers 1, 2, 4. Or, one, three, four, um, whatever you prefer. Um, basically what I'm doing now is I'm descending using this um, figure. And I'm descending diatonically keeping um, the whole run in E minor or E Aeolian for those of you who are into modes. And um, the way I'm doing this, uh, and this is something that I've been talking about already but uh, it's something really important and I want to point that out. Normally um, guitars think in patterns and um, we're kind of stuck in one position and it's really hard for guitars to get out of that um, position. You might have experienced this yourself. Um, a very a very efficient way, um, and this is crucial um, in my opinion, a very efficient way to break out of those patterns uh, is, is uh, using shifts. And this is basically what I'm doing um, to get all these um, mega runs. Um, so what I'm doing here is just shifting into the next pattern, which would be um, 17, uh, 15, 14, and then on the same string 15, 14, 12. And then I go to the B string and I um, what I do from there on is I play a, a two six tuplet patterns on one string and then I go to the adjacent string. Um, so in that case it would be 15, 13, 12 and then 13, 12, uh, 10 and then um, that's what we have so far. And then I um, I go to the G string and I have 12, 11, 9 and 11, 9, 7. Again, you can use 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. And then I go to the next string which will be a D and it gives me the notes 10, 9 and 7. And then on the same string, 7, uh, Excuse me, nine, seven, five. So far, we have this. Now I'm going to the A string. I still uh, have nine, seven, five, and I move down to 7th, 5th and 3rd fret of the A string and then um, I go down to the low E string same fingering 7th, uh, 5th, 3 and 5th, 3, 2 and then I hit uh, the low E string so the whole thing very slowly So I'm shifting a lot. And that would be today's lick.